I am, and I have been for the past 30 years, interested in one particular aspect of user-centered design, that of human-centered design. Human-centered design deals with design for the very poor, or the other 90% of the population of the planet. To know more about this work, take a look at the Barefoot College. I'm a technical advisor to this NGO in India. User-centered design within product design deals with ergonomics and anthropometry. Terms like inclusive design or participatory design or co-design are also used. One application of user-centered design is in universal design or in design for the elderly or design for disability or in assistive technologies. The benefit to you from this course, you will be able to design so that what you design is comfortable, fits the purpose, or fits people and their hands, and physically they're able to use the product. Potentially, you might also design so that people can engage and interact with the product because you've considered the user-centered dimension of your product. As a design studio, we will be working through projects that you will set up and run. Each project will be a design challenge with a solution to be pitched to a panel of experts. Each class in the studio mode is a place to show your work, to have your ideas discussed, and to receive feedback from teachers and students.